trainers, travelers, and battlers. You know what it is, Jake Devin back at it with another video. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you feel my vibe and power up punch that notification bell for more PvP content. So, um, as promised today, we are going to be, going to be doing um, part two of our regionals recap, which is actually round three. First thing we're gonna do is take a look over here at um, our opponent's team. Now, uh, Lord Lordoman, Lordoman's team, the uh, first thing we notice is he did bring the, uh, the lantern, which is a little bit scary, but we do know that Metacham can take care of lantern as well as we have Venusaur on our side. But I still gotta look out for it because I think lantern can be pretty neutral against our um, Probo Pass, I think it's actually just going to win against Probo Pass. It does destroy Skarmory as well as it has kind of neutral matchup against Sableye. And we notice he did bring the Sableye as well. So he's not trying to tease me with the Haunter or the Gallade lineup, which I'm great. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. Thanks for not doing that. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get right into the battles over here against Lordman. He was our second opponent. Um, these matches, some of them were kind of close. They were good battles. Obviously, you know, this is regionals. So everybody who came was competitive. We're all good um, uh, battlers and we knew what we were doing, except me, obviously, because I switched into Probo Pass um, into a meta jam lock. Anyways, um, here we go. We got him with the open. We have the save light. He opened with the meta jam. That's what we were hoping for. We're not going to switch out right away. We're going to get off the foul play first against the lantern to see if he blocks it or not. And then we're gonna bring out our meta champ to just put in the counters and the power up punches so we can get him stacked up and ready for whichever next Pokemon's gonna be coming out next. I think that's a, a smart way to play meta champ against Lantern, especially if it works out this way for us where we can actually just swap into it rather than having to swap out of meta champ. I feel like that's a smart way to play is to swap into rather than swapping out of. Um, now we're just going for the power up punch as well against the Sableye. In this case, we're not really gonna be blocking it because it's not worth the investment, I feel, at this point. So now we're bringing out the Probo Pass. I'd rather do it this way than what I did before because I feel like it's better also to switch um, out of Probo Pass than it is to switch into Probo Pass. Um, so as Metacham's gonna be taking out um, our Sableye, GG's to that. We got the Thunderbolt off. I feel like the Thunderbolt there was pretty underwhelming in terms of the damage output. I kind of expected more to be honest, but you know, that's that's what you get. I mean, it's basically a, I don't want to say an upgraded Bastiodon, because Bastiodon does have Smackdown and Stone Edge and access to Flamethrower. I think it's just a different kind of Bastiodon in my opinion. It is obviously different Pokemon, but it, uh, it can be a little better in certain situations. Um, that's one lesson we learn, and I hope you learn a lesson from this too, is if you're going into a tournament, especially regionals, and you're kind of second guessing your team, you should actually take some time to see what other people have had success with, rather than, you know, just being like me, who decided, you know what, okay, Probo Pass just came out. I know some people are going to not expect it, and I think it can win against Bastiodon in a lot of cases, depending on shields. Obviously, still gotta be scared of Metacham, but, you know, I decided to make the last minute change wasn't the best choice. Um, here we go. We open up with the Zoomerill against the Metacham. This is a good um, opening for us. It's a good matchup. Um, we got him twice with the opening, so let's hope that we actually win this battle so that doesn't go to waste. Now, we are going to be stacking up a little bit on energy, but not too much, because once Metacham gets powered up enough, it's almost unstoppable, even against the Zoomerill. Um, but we're going to be getting off the play rough against the Lantern. It's a good thing he didn't block it. We were able to get off that good amount of damage. But he does bring out his, um, I'm sorry, I brought out my meta champ at this point. And now we're going to be going for the power up punch because it's going to just do work against Lantern. Obviously, no, we're going to want to block the Thunderbolts in the, in the Hydro Pumps because we want to reserve our Lantern. We don't want to take the damage, but we can still take care of the Lantern and get it out of there. Um, so our next Pokemon coming out can actually, you know, stand a chance. That's why we don't want the Lantern in there. But he did end up bringing in the Sableye right afterwards. Um, I'm going for the Ice Punch to get off the neutral damage. Even though, you know, I can get powered up from the power-up punches, I wanted to go for neutral. Um, in retrospect, I think I probably would have been safe going for the power-up punches because, you know, that's going to stack. It's going to make my counters hit harder, and we might have won that matchup. I don't know. I don't think so, though. Anyways, 
Um, we're going up here. Um, we are able to take him out with our Skarmory. That, that match was a little close from what you saw. Um, I think if he had gotten off um, another power-up punch before he got to our Sky Attack, he would have won, and that would have been the round. But now we're going into the third battle here. Um, I felt a little more confident at this point. The reason being is because I didn't play like a complete animal. <laughs> um, but also, we're not you know, trying to overthink our leads too much. I think that's my problem sometimes when I'm doing tournaments, especially regionals, is I'll look at their lineup and I will think way too much about what the safe lead is gonna be, you know? One thing, I mean, maybe this might not be the same for you, um, but for me, I feel like, you know, I need to just follow my gut a little more. I need to trust myself a little more and just go go with the lead that feels safe. Don't, don't try and bet on, oh, you know, there's no way they're actually gonna lead with Lantern or there's no way they're actually gonna lead, you know, with Bastiodon. That's um, that's where I lost myself a little bit in a, in a lot of the battles during this regionals is I, I tried to think way too much. You know, there is a lot of pressure. It's gonna affect your ranking a lot. Um, obviously, you know, it's gonna um, determine whether or not you can qualify for championships. It's, there was a lot weighted into it, but don't give into that pressure. Um, Cause what, you know, what got us here in the first place is trying to stay away from that pressure. Now. He opens up with the Bastiodon. Um, I opened up with the Venusaur, so I felt okay about it because, you know, he did have Lantern on his team as well. And so this is technically a good matchup for us. We are going to have to shield. But now at this point, we're just going to go straight for the Frenzy Plant. He did end up switching into his Metacham, which is a good thing he shielded it because Frenzy Plant still is going to do a great amount of damage. Now, right now, I am going to use my other shield um, for, or was that my first one? No, yeah, that was my other shield. I'm gonna preserve the Venusaur and I wanna gain up a little bit of energy and then I end up swapping out to the Azumarill because I know we have Azumarill in our team and he is currently timed in. He's swap locked with his Metacham. Um, so we're going for the Azumarill so we can get rid of the Metacham and get off the play roughs. I think he brings back in, oh no, he brings in the Lantern, uh, which was a good choice, but we have enough energy built up since we stack a little bit um, that we're able to get off a of play rough against him. So that's a plus. Now he takes us out obviously with a Thunderbolt, not much we can do about it. That's what happens when your opponent runs Lantern, but we have that Frenzy plan essentially ready to go, so we get rid of it, and he has only Bastiodon left like he opened up with, and our last Pokemon sitting in the back is Metacham. So GG's Lord Omen, we did end up taking that round. That was a victory for us. Um, feels a little better than what happened before because I feel like I could have won round one, but <laughs> but no, I switched into Probopass. <laughs> um, so here you can see the results. I did include um, round two and three in the results picture that you guys are seeing over here. The reason I did that is just so you can see the uh, results. I'll put the tournament link in the next video as well too, so you can you know analyze that if you want to. Feel free. Um, but you know, as we saw previously, we took a buy in round two, so we didn't participate. Um, but round three, you can see all the results from the different competitors and some people we've battled against with in the past. I think there were five. It was either four or five of us who were there attending at regionals that are from um, my local vicinity. Um, I think two of them, two of them from my actual city, and then uh, three of them from a very nearby city. No, I think there was it was three and two. I don't know who cares, uh, but that's the results of that. I'm in retrospect, you know, I've, I'm kind of over regionals i am glad it's over to be honest it was it was a lot of pressure and i came out of regionals for like a whole day um just feeling you know feeling bad about myself i was really getting down on myself and i i kind of uh did a lot of bad self-talk that's not a good thing guys don't do that it's it's not good for your mental health and it's not good for a lot of other things you know it, it kind of affected all areas of my life and that's because i i allowed it to um but in retrospect here again the one thing that we have learned so far um, from our regionals experience is do not overthink your leads too much because that can end up being really bad. Um, I think typically the, the mantra I want to try to go by when I'm opening up in a match and you know I'm, I'm looking at their team composition is just just lead lead with your gut. You know, lead lead with what feels safe. Um, if you end up having to swap out, you know, that's part of the game. That's why that, you know, the meta is the meta for a reason. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, just open up with what feels safe and make sure your team comp has, you know, obviously other plays aligned for that kind of situation. If you end up having to swap out, that, that kind of goes without saying. But yeah, lead with your gut. Um, 
I feel much better about that. But that's that's it for this video, guys. So the next one will be the end of the uh, regionals recap. So GG's to the battles and GG's to the video because it's over. Again, if you enjoyed, um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel my vibe. And most importantly, please make sure you have a good freaking day.